This is the Ferro Fire FS91 Extra Large Fire Starting Survival Kit. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this item, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I just want to thank Ferro Fire for sending me this unit so that I could share it with you. So what we'll do is I'm just going to give you a few specifications on it, talk about some of its key features, and you can see it did come with a few extras on it, and that's what makes it a survival fire starting kit. But I brought out a couple of other rods to share with you and compare them with just to see how good it is, basically. So let's get started. All right, guys, so if you see me swat at myself, it's because the deer flies are out and I did not bring my dragonfly wingman. See them? All right. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> me and deer flies, right? Okay, so let's get started. So this is the ferrocerium rod. I know it looks very much like a lot of other ferrocerium rods, a little bit different. I'll explain in a few minutes' time. But you can see what it came with. It came with a length of paracord, so it's 5.2 feet or 1.6 meters of reflective paracord wrapped up here. You attach it, when it comes, it's not attached. You just take the little shackle, little tiny screwdriver, and you put it all together and you've got a kit. On the other end of this is the scraper. Good quality scraper, I'll say. It has good burr on the edge, a little bit of a scraper for fat wood or whatever else you want to scrape down with. Works pretty good. In fact, I've been using this and by hooking this onto a little clip I have on my belt and then put it into my pockets, good idea to have it attached to your belt. Not your belt loop, but your belt so you don't lose it, right? And then you go to reach for it and it's not there. So it's a, that's a good idea. So what's different about this? Right, well, let's give some specifications. Four inches in length. Now, most of the ones that I've been carrying are five inches in length, so it's a little bit shorter, but this is fatter, nine sixteenths, so over a half an inch in diameter. Most of the other larger ones are one half inch diameter. That's reflected in the weight, 4.76 ounces, 135 grams. You know, they boast 20,000 strikes on this because of its extra size, I guess that would be. Honestly, that's relative to how you go about using it. So, you know, I don't, I'll never count the strikes and how many strikes does it take to get a fire going? Well, there's so many factors there that you really can't put a number on that. If it oxidizes because you haven't used it in a while, you've got to scrape it again before you can uh, start getting some good sparks off of it. Okay, yeah, so that's enough said about that claim of 20,000 strikes. Now, I did bring a couple of other ferrocerium deer flies. Jeez, how do you get up my pant leg? All right. I brought a couple of other ferrocerium rods to show you, so I'll bring them in and compare them, and then we're going to do a couple strike tests. I'll use the striker that came with this one, I'll use the striker that came with the Uberlieben model that I brought, and then I'll use the back of a knife that I'm wearing with me today. All right, let's do a little bit of a comparison. So this is the ferrofire. Now this is the rod I've been carrying for a number of years. This is a cheap, cheap five inch by half inch ferro rod. Uh, that I got off of AliExpress a number of years ago, came directly from China, and you can see it's been used a fair amount, we'll say. And uh, yeah, I had to put my own duct tape or gorilla tape around the edge of it to uh, give it something to purchase on, but um, you know, it's, it's, I've used it a lot, let's, let's just say it that. I've used it a lot and I, I know how well it works. Now, the other one I brought out is one of my Uberlieben rods, and this is the eight inch by half inch Uberlieben Kraftig. I'll correct it if it's not Kraftig, I think that's what they refer to. So I reviewed this in another video. Uh, I put the piece of white tape on it so that it would come in at the same length. You can see what I did here. I wanted the white tape to give it the same length as the other rod, just for fairness and striking, because one of the things I noticed in using a long rod like this is, if you take advantage of the full length of this, you're gonna get a lot more sparks off of this than if you just have the shorter rod. So length does make a difference in the case of fire rods. Okay, now, here's the thing, my experience about using fire rods is, there is a difference. Most people think there's no difference whatsoever. About the only two diff rods that people will acknowledge there's a difference is between the ones that come from Light My Fire, which are very soft and throw great gobs of fire, or all the rest of them are the same, and that they're harder and they'll throw out less sparks. And the difference being is that the uh, Light My Fire will grow, throw more sparks, gobs of sparks, but at a lower temperature. Now, we're not talking much. We're talking like they're both in the, you know, the 5,000 degree range, so it's not like there's a lot of difference. Whereas the 
Chinese-made rods, and they're pretty much all from China, are, are going to come out with hotter sparks, fewer but hotter sparks. Presumably the hotter sparks give you a better chance of success in lighting the fire. Okay, there are so many factors that go into success with a ferrocerium rod, regardless if it's this one, this old one, or the one that we're reviewing today, the ferro fire, that it's it can be kind of subjective. It's hard to measure exactly how well they work. So the best way I'm going to be able to do this is to do some demonstrations just throwing sparks. Everybody loves to throw sparks. So I'm just going to throw a few sparks and let you decide which one throws the better sparks. I'll use the striker that came with the ferro fire. I'll use the striker that came, where did I lay that at? The striker that came with the Uberleben. And I'll use the back of the knife that I'm carrying with me today. So let's get started. All right, just before we get started with the demonstration, I just want to mention this so that people understand. Um, we had a real hot, dry spring here in Nova Scotia. So hot, so dry that we had some tremendous forest fires, forest fires, record level forest fires, and a lot of damage. A lot of people lost their homes in that. But since then, we've had a lot of rain, and as a result, the woods are very wet. So I'm allowed to have fires again in the woods in the proper time periods. Um, even so, I want to acknowledge that this is a risky thing to do if the ground is not very, very damp. Now, the ground below me is actually muddy damp. So I acknowledge that this can be a risky thing to do, and I've got a bottle of water ready to stomp on it if I see any of the sparks that don't go out immediately. So safety first, I guess, is what I'm getting to and those deer flies are all over me again. All right, I'm using my old Chinese fire steel as a bit of a standard to compare the other two again against. I'll tell you from experience, this works, but it is a hard, hard rod. It takes a heavy, hard strike on it from a sharp edge to get the sparks, and you really don't get the sparks you'll see from the other ones. So while people think a lot of them are the same, there are differences, Not maybe not tremendous differences, but I'll tell you now, this is harder than the other one. Let's see. Knife I'm using has a good, sharp edge. Let's see what kind of a shower I can provide for you here. Just burned a hole in my shirt. All right, not too bad, right? It's not too bad at all. But now let's bring in the Uberleben. Again, I'm going to use the knife. Might as well keep going with the knife and then I'll go back and use the included strikers for each of these rods. So here is the Uberleben. Wow, okay, a big chunk of them went right into my fire pit. I'm kind of aiming them at the fire pit down here at my feet, but a big chunk of molten metal. And again, it may not look as dramatic, but the chunks of molten metal are traveling further and staying lit until they hit the ground. The other ones didn't. That was a good set of sparks. And this is all off the back of the night. Now, one more time, we'll do that with the ferro fire rod. It's a little shorter, so it's a little harder to hold on to, but wow. Okay. Now, I've tested this, so that's not a big surprise. Here's what I'm seeing between the two of them. The one that I carried from China worked for me, but it does not throw the gobs of sparks that either the Uberleben or this ferro fire throw. In fact, I'm going to say this is on par with the Uberleben as far as throwing gobs of sparks and how easily they come off. Now that's using a knife. So let's dig out one of the strikers. So I'm going to use the included striker on that came with the ferro fire and we'll test that out now. It's a little bit difficult because I'm much shorter, so I can't get the strength of, of uh, stroke on it. I mean, it's, it's throwing sparks. It's not throwing them as well as the back of that knife did. I think just for fairness, because I'm going to use both strikers on both rods, I'm going to use the Uberleben striker on this one. Yeah, it's about the same as the included one with ferro fire. I'm going to say they're about the same. All right, so first thing I'll do is I'll go back, I'll grab the Uberleben and the Uberleben striker. Now, for some reason, that's doing a little bit better. That one didn't go off the rod, stuck to my finger. A uh, little bit better than it did with the ferro fire. Now, let's just see what this one will do. This is the ferro fire striker. It's got a nice burr on it, so it should do a good job. Okay, so here's what, what I'm seeing so far. I suppose the last thing to do is go back to the cheap one. 
And one more time with the Uber Liebman one. All right, so here's what I am seeing. When it comes to the ability to throw gobs of metal off onto whatever surface you're trying to ignite, these two are the same. The Uberlieben and the Ferrofire are virtually the same in my opinion. As I mentioned, this is very subjective. It's what I'm seeing in front of me. Maybe it's showing up a little bit different for you on the camera, but they both have good performance and they both have better performance than that cheap Chinese one. Don't waste your money on these folks. I just wanted to use it up because I, I bought it, right? And I needed to use it up. It's worthwhile spending a few dollars more and getting one of these name brands, either the Uberlieben or the Ferrofire. I'm going to say they are right on par in terms of performance. So they both have about the same degree of hardness or softness, however you want to look at it. And they both work well. Here's the other thing I'm noticing. Neither striker, the one from Ferrofire or the one from Uberlieben, beat the knife. The knife threw more sparks. It's got a much sharper... E wow, does that ever. This is designed for scraping without question. By the way, this is the Demco Free Rain Tanto style, which will come up in a future review. I have two knives from Demco that I am testing out right now. Dear flies. Okay, let's wrap this video up. All right, closing fire thoughts for the Ferro Fire Fire Steel and Striker Kit. Uh, yeah. It works. That's what I'm going to say for it. In fact, I like it equally as well as I did the Uberlieben. One thing I'll say for it is that's a much more easy to carry length than that eight inch one is. I mean, it's half the length. So this one carries a little bit better on my belt in my pocket. So that's the one where it's going after this video is on my belt in my pocket. I will tell you this, I'm removing the paracord off of this. Not that I don't like the concept, but I'm going to use only a shorter length of it. And I'm going to take the striker off. As you can see, the striker is wound through. Uh, I prefer, as you saw, the knife works much better. This will probably go into my fire kit just in case I don't have something with me that will strike. I can't imagine I wouldn't have a knife with me. But uh, yeah, so I like the fact that it has that shackle, makes it that length right there, gives it something to purchase to hold on to. So, you know, maybe I will leave it on. I haven't quite decided how I'll go about uh, arranging this on my belt. I carried it for a while. I have a clip, as I mentioned, that works. It's a little long like that, so, but I do really want to get that off because I find that a bit annoying on here. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's my thoughts on it. It works. It does a good job. It, it is at least as good as the ones from Uberlieb, and I'm going to say the right on par from what I can see in my testing, but I'll leave it up to you to decide. So what I'll do, of course, is I'll put the information to where you can take another look at the Ferro Fire Ferrocerium Rod. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments or any questions regarding this, please put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.